Police officers locked arm in arm trying to clear a crowd on the south side and we learned two officers were hurt during all of this. Channel 11's Lori Hoy talked to witnesses about the crowd they say got out of hand. It's quiet now on East Carson Street on the south side, but that was not the case last night. Pittsburgh police were called in to control a large disorderly crowd, and we have video of the chaos. This is East Carson Street just before 2.15 Sunday morning. The near riot videotaped on a cell phone and shared with Channel 11. Neighbors heard the loud commotion. We heard just about every police officer in the city heading right down here into the next block. Police tell Channel 11 the unruly crowd continued to grow and surrounded vehicles in the street bringing traffic to a standstill between 10th and 18th streets in both directions. During the frenzy, as an officer was writing a traffic citation, an impatient driver drove over his left foot. Another officer trying to help his colleague injured his knee. Both officers were treated at the hospital. And this is a new phenomenon of a certain crowd mentality, you know. And uh, we're just hoping that doesn't blow up into something the police can't handle. Meantime, additional police units were called in to disperse the crowd, with officers giving amplified orders to leave the streets. In this picture, police form a skirmish line to move people off the street, and we're told it worked. Kids are just getting ready to go back to school. I think they're worked up and they're having a good time and I don't think they mean any harm. Police made two arrests, Taryn Smith from Ocean City, New Jersey and Eric James from Westerville, Ohio. Both are 23 years old. Police tell us the scene was finally secured by 315 this morning. From the south side, Lori Hoy, Channel 11 News.